As I'm sure you're aware, today we're going to be trading the non-farm payrolls US employment data live with a little bit of a twist because you guys are going to be deciding what we trade. And on the first Friday of the next month, we get a number that comes out. You'll have the number of the previous payrolls, you'll have the number that's expected for this month's payrolls, and then you'll have what actually comes out, which will release at 1.30. So we'll talk about that in a little, in a little second here. But effectively, plenty of jobs added, good for the economy, not so many jobs added, not so good for the economy. This gets a little bit complicated when we start to look at what happens if we have a lot of jobs added to the economy, but not as many were expected. That might actually end up having a negative result. When I started trading back in 2015, back in 2016, the payrolls coming out was a huge event, right? You could see anywhere from 50 to 150 pip move in the FX market. In recent years, that's dropped significantly. You maybe get 30 to 50 pips if you're lucky. During times of war, during times of uncertainty, commodities go up. On bad news, commodities go up because people lose faith in the economy and they pump their money into commodities. Stores of value, precious metals and stuff like that. You can't print gold, right? So it's, it's a very, very safe place to put money in the, in the broad, um, you know, in people's sort of broad opinion. So commodities tend to go down on good news because people are regaining faith in the economy. So people put money back into the economy. That's why equities tend to go up. Here we have the NFP coming out in now eight minutes. You literally have two minutes to make this decision, whether it's with a person sitting next to you or whatever, have a discussion about what you want to do. Do you think the number is going to be good? Do you think the number is going to be bad? Hands for weakness, bad, bad number for the dollar. All the way up. Right, hand up for strength, good number for the dollar. Oh, you bunch of pessimists, right, okay. So here's what we're gonna do. On screen, on the left hand side, we have a chart of gold. On the right hand side here, we have the Dow Jones, the US Dow Jones, top 30 companies in the US. This is typically a big mover on the payrolls. So if we're expecting weakness, what's that gonna do to gold? Gold's going to go up, right? What's it going to do to the Dow Jones? Yeah. Dow Jones is going to go down. Can I have a volunteer to come up and put in these trades? Someone? You won't be held financially accountable. We said weakness, right? Yeah. Gold up? Yeah. Right, okay. You just click on that. Just click. Yeah. Right? And click sell on the Dow Jones. Three minutes now to this data, number one payrolls for March, we're looking for That's us in. Right, 30 seconds to the news. Remember, we're looking for this to go up, we're looking for this to go down. Here's your profit and loss down here. About 30 seconds now. We're looking for a number better than 492k. 10 seconds. 492 yeah. is the number that we're looking to miss. That's a mess. The unemployment rate at 3.6%. Average hourly earnings on the month 0.4%. Year on year 5.6%. Okay, so we're currently three minutes. Three minutes after, typically if there was any further revisions to be made to that news, that would have already come out by now. Dow Jones there still seeing some nice follow through to the downside. If you look at our Dow Jones position there on the bottom, we're $370, £370 rather in profit, um, whilst that gold position is about £100, about £100 down at the moment. Ah, we'll get out of them, we'll wrap up here. And that's us out. Let's see what the account's looking like. You made £333. <laughs> okay guys, well listen, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure and congrats for making £333. Yeah, don't try this at home.